Hello, welcome to another quick tip. Today I'm looking at a very common issue and that's converting pips into price or double values. On screen here you can see I've got the Euro USD price showing and it's demonstrating 1.0847 pips and then this broker is a five decimal broker so there's an extra digit after that big number. If I look at dollar yen then you can see this is showing the price is 106.56 pips and there's an extra decimal added by the broker. But if I change to something, let's look at gold price for example, there is no extra digit after the pips. So the issue is how do you come up with a standard function that will convert all of these and work for brokers that have four digits or five digits and work with all of these now I have a technique, if anyone finds a broker or a symbol that doesn't work with this, then please let me know so I can do an update. But let's go and look at some code and see how I do those conversions. Here's a script where I want to demonstrate what we're trying to do. Um, I've created a simple function called print price value, taking a symbol and number of pips. And I'm passing in three different symbols, same that we just looked at, euro, yen and gold, uh, passing the same value to each. I'm going to call a function called pips to price where I'm simply passing the pips and the symbol and then this print format statement will display the number of pips passed in uh, formatted to two decimal places, the symbol that I passed in and then the result formatted to five decimal places. Now the key to using this is to know how big is a pip. MetaTrader doesn't have any function to return the size of a pip so I need to create a function that gives me a pip size. And let's just put one in here. This is a standard function that I keep in my uh, conversions library. Uh, looking at this function, pip size takes a symbol. MetaTrader will give me the size of a point, and this is the last decimal place that the broker has. So the market info symbol mode point will give me for euro would give me, for example, 0.00001. There's also a standard function to give me number of digits. So for a five digit broker, this will return a five. If the broker is a four digit broker, this would be a four. Uh, if I'm talking about yen, then this would be either three, four or five digit broker or a two if the broker doesn't have the extra digit. And when I'm talking about gold, this will return two. So then all I'm using is the modulus function here, digits percent two and what I've determined from checking as many brokers and symbols as I can find is that if this returns a one, so if there are an odd number of digits, then the broker is adding that extra digit. And in that case, I'm returning point multiplied by 10, but if the number of digits is even, then I'm just returning point. So for gold, point is two, and or point is point zero 0.01, digits is two, and I would be returning just value of point. So the next thing I want to do is create just the function that actually does this pips to price, and that's a very simple function. Let me paste that in here. All right, and you can see this is small enough to be a single line function. All I'm returning is the number of pips passed in multiplied by the pip size for the symbol, and that will convert pips to price in as many combinations of broker and symbol as I have been able to find and test. Uh, and just in case you want to use this with the current screen symbol, I've also created an overload function here that doesn't take symbol and I'm passing in the screen symbol and I'm doing the same with pip size here. And if I run this, you will see this information come out. I'll just run it now and then we'll go to the chart and see the result. So here we are. 31.4 pips in euros is 0 0.00314. In dollar yen it's 0.314 and in gold it's also 0.314. Now this function isn't taking account whether you can have 0.314 pips, it's just converting the value. So you will need to take care of normalizing that if you want to use this value with the symbol. And just one more thing, or two more things, 
Uh, if you're going to convert pips to price, it's probably a natural thing to want to convert price to pips. So price to pips is almost the same. The only difference is that I divide the price passed in by the pip size rather than multiplying the pips by the pip size. And I guess if you also then want to convert points, which is the last decimal place, that is even easier because MetaTrader does have a function to return the point. All I'm doing is points by the market info of the symbol mode point. If I was a little quick with this, then just pause the video, scroll it back so you can see the code I have here. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.